It was that time in history when the struggle for freedom was its zenith in India. Modern notions of freedom, equality, secularism and nationalism greatly influenced the youth who were entangled in inequalities and unrest. The youth of that time realized that history is dynamic and that only through positive intervention can it create success stories. This recognition prompted many young people to engage in continuous social interaction. Organizational brilliance, leadership, historical consciousness and social mobility which were formed in the sense of liberal identity brought the youth into the mainstream in the local parishes. The great movement Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam was brought out of the decision of the Sabha Pradindindi Mandalam in 1933 to loudly proclaim true freedom through Christ in the vision of a group of talented young leaders. The Yuvajana Sakyam was first established with the name Malangara Matoma Syrian Yuvajana Sakyam, later known as the Matoma Yuvajana Seva Sakyam and finally as the Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam. Limited educational facilities, financial constraints, inadequate living conditions and so many other limitations challenged the youth of that time. It is in this context that the programs and activities of Yuvajana Sakyam of the day were formed. Beyond the growth of the organization, the spiritual and physical growth of the youth was the cardinal goal of Yuvajana Sakyam. The sole aim of this movement then and now is to keep the youth in an inseparable relationship with Jesus Christ through the fourfold program of worship, study, witness and service. The purpose of Yuvajana Sakyam is to mould young minds to stand for justice just as Christ taught us and ultimately be the visionaries. God has led our Yuvajana Sakyam far beyond limitations. This journey, which started off with a handful of youngsters, is in its non-agenarian ear, influencing and inspiring thousands of young people of different cultures across borders and across languages towards Lord Almighty. Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam is active in all the dioceses and centers of the church. The general administration is carried out through the office of Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam at the Sabha headquarters at Tirvala, coordinating the activities right from Shakha level. The Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam is steered by His Presidentship, Right Reverend Dr. Thomas Martito's Episcopa. The various subcommittees headed by the General Secretary, Vice President, Treasurer, two Assistant Secretaries and members of the Managing Committee are at the helm. The Adur Matoma Youth Centre, built in commemoration of the Silver Jubilee of the Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam, was indeed a proud achievement for us. Our youth centre, which was built with an initial capital of 28,000 rupees raised by the members of the youth wing, became the site of many historic reunions. In fact, Matoma Youth Centre has become one of the most important camp centres in Kerala. As part of the Golden Jubilee, the Eugenist Sakim succeeded in bringing the dream to reality of having its own office building at the church headquarters at Tiruvalla. Outside Kerala, the youth ministry took a new shape and form in 2002 with an assistant secretary residing in Bangalore. It was in 2006 that the Matoma Youth Centre Bangalore was constructed. Ever since the eruption of Bangalore Youth Centre, it has been coordinating the activities of Yuvajana Sakyam. The Bangalore Youth Centre is a venue for several youth camps, retreats and other gatherings. The centre pays special attention to provide safe and serene accommodation in a spiritual atmosphere for those who come to study and work in and around Bangalore. The Youth Centre has also reached out to many youths of the mission fields. 
The Kadapa Mission is a mission field launched in Rayalaseema region of Andhra Pradesh in the village of Wontimita on the occasion of the 80th anniversary of the Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam. The mission is to provide care and light to the adjoining villages. The St. Thomas English Medium School established here brings the needy children of the village to the light of knowledge. Through this mission, God leads the villagers who strives for a living to fulfill their dream of providing a good education for their descendants. By the grace of God, a mission complex was constructed and dedicated in February 2020. There are a lot of needs left to fulfill. There is an urgent need for a medical clinic and related facilities for the villagers in this area, like extensive school buildings to provide basic education for children. We need a hostel building for continuing education and education for the needy students who excel in their studies. At the same time, there is an urgent requirement for a technical education institute to provide technical education to the youth of the village to overcome the biggest challenge of unemployment. The Yuvajana Sakyam was able to purchase property in the village of Toniamala in Patanantita district in 2019 to expand its operations. Matoma Yuvadibam is the official publication of Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam and Ripples is the English magazine of the same. To make the youth socially committed and better citizens for a sustainable future of the nation is also the goal of the youth ministry. The movement is made up of youngsters who declare a non-violent struggle against injustice. This movement is shaping young people to respond to the Christian model where there is inequality, untruth and inequity that are rampant around them. An example of this is the tractor rally from Kotayam to Trivandrum Raj Bhavan, which took place in January 2021, demanding the repeal of Farmers' Bill passed by the Government of India. An enthusiastic response to this protest march, which comprised hundreds of young people. In solidarity with the protest, Yuvajana Sakyam published an original multilingual song by the title Kizan Kibar consisting of eight languages on the subject. Renowned social activist Medha Bhatka dedicated this protest song to Mother India and it made waves across the country. From its inception, the Yojana Sakim has been at the forefront of providing support to the country in times of adversities. Humanitarian rescue was laid out in times of tsunami 2004. In the second quarter of 70s, the relief work was carried out in the wake of cyclone that had devastated Andhra Pradesh. The relief services provided in the flood-hit areas of Oki in 2017 and in the days of the catastrophic floods of 2018, the Yuvajana Sakyam continued to be a constant presence for many months delivering essential services and providing medical services to all the affected areas of Kerala, rebuilding flood-affected houses and so on. Amid the hassle of COVID-19 pandemic that the world has been facing, Matoma Yuvajana Sakyam was at the forefront of courageous rescue and defence efforts. By means of border transit screening, public campaigns in urban areas, blood donations. Masks and sanitizers prepared by the youngsters were distributed through government systems. 
Quarantine accommodations for expatriates returning home was also provided. Thus, Yuajana Sakkim has been instrumental in, in numerous relief efforts. Awareness classes and outreach programs were organized online at all dioceses of the church with the aim of providing care, medical assistance and other emergency care for isolated patients infected with coronavirus. The COVID care units named as Rapid Response Brigade is functioning with the help of trained allies. In addition, a mobile crematorium service has been set up under the leadership of Yojana Sakim to provide a dignified farewell and funeral for those who have lost their lives because of COVID-19, irrespective of caste and creed. This small lamb, which was lit in 1933, today shines like the blazing sun, writing stories of the survival of the land, recognizing the changes and challenges of the times, and taking inspiration from Christ the Lord in the parts of the action. We still need to toil more for the extension of the Kingdom of God. The construction of school building at Sakyan Gramam, construction of a shopping complex at Adur Youth Centre are sustainable sources of income for us to continue the journey with courage overcoming the crisis created by COVID-19 our needs are many more indeed. Dear youngsters and senior members who have always held the youth wing of Matoma Church close to their hearts, the well-wishers of Sakyam, you are the heart and soul of this movement. In this situation, where all our traditional sources of income have come to a standstill, the support and prayers of each and every one are essential for us to move forward. No matter how small your help is, at times, it is a great strength to us. Together, we have come so far. We shall continue to sail the journey together. Let us come in the holiness of worship through the depths of our study to set exemplary witness in the paths of the service. Let us move forward holding the hands of Christ.